Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devedi. The Ministry of Jal Shakti has conducted the first ever water body census. What is this? What does the census tell us? What are actually considered? What things are? What bodies are considered water bodies? Are there any exclusions? We are going to talk about the significance as well. Let us move ahead and talk about the backdrop. The Ministry of Jal Shakti has recently conducted the, not conducted, released, conducted and released the report of its first ever census of water bodies. This will provide an extensive inventory of water sources in India for policy makers to ensure that their policy is on the right track. It highlights the disparities as well between the rural and urban areas and varying levels of encroachment as well. So encroachment has also been, you know, uh, we can say highlighted for the first ever time. Now, what are water bodies? Let's talk about that. The water bodies first census report considers all natural or man-made units which is bounded or surrounded on all sides with some or no masonry work that means there could be concrete word work or not, absence is also okay, which is used for storing water for irrigation or other purposes. Other purposes include industrial, pisciculture, domestic, drinking, recreation, religious, groundwater recharge, etc. These are water bodies. The water bodies are usually of various types, which are known, which is known by different names such as tank, reservoirs, ponds, etc. This is in the report itself. Moving ahead, now there are many things that we have to keep in mind from the perspective of prelims here. So, let's ensure that we know them. The census of water bodies was conducted in conjunction with the 6th minor irrigation census for 2017-18. This enumerated a total of more than 24 lakh water bodies across the country. West Bengal accounts for the most and Sikkim the least. That means West Bengal has the highest number of ponds and reservoirs in which the district of South 24 Perganas topped. Andhra Pradesh has the highest number of tanks. Tamil Nadu has the highest number of lakes and Maharashtra leads in water conservation schemes. So remember all these. The report highlights that 97.1% of the water bodies are in rural areas while there are only 2.9% of them in the urban areas. Moving on. Now, there is also a report in it on encroachment. 1.6% of all the enumerated water bodies are encroached with 95.4% of encroachments in rural areas and the remaining 4.6% in urban areas. Also, a significant percentage of encroachments cover more than 75% of the water bodies areas and that is a problematic issue or a problem for the water cycle and that is why we are seeing such heated events of weather changes. Now exclusions are also there. Certain bodies are excluded out of this water body concept such as oceans and lagoons, rivers, streams, springs, waterfalls, canals etc. Free flowing, these are free flowing without any bounded storage of water. This could be asked from films. Swimming pools are also out. Covered water tanks which are created for a specific purpose by a family or household for their own consumption is also out. A water tank which is constructed by a factory owner for consumption of water as raw material or consumable. Temporary water bodies which are created by digging or mining, brick kilns, uh, dig, digging for mining, brick kilns and construction activities which may get due, filled due, during the rainy season, these are also out. Pakka open water tanks created only for cattle to drink water is also out. What is the significance of this census? What will it do? It will provide crucial data for policy makers to make informed decisions about water research, resource management and conservation as well. It will highlight the disparities between urban area and rural area when, and the need for effective measures to prevent encroachment. It will also serve as a baseline for future assessment of India's water resources. So I hope you understood this topic well. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.